In order to create a Google Classroom, you will need to sign in with your district ID. So go ahead and click sign in. You need to go ahead and type in your help email. Click next. You will need to choose organizational G Suite account. Okay, and then you will sign in with your district password. Once you're signed in, go ahead and click on the little waffle grid here. And then scroll down until you see Google Classroom. Okay, and if you do not see Google Classroom, you can click on more for from G Suite Marketplace. You can also go to Google Classroom. Okay, and that will take you straight to it. Once you're in Google Classroom, you can click the little uh, toggle bars right here on the top left. classes, calendar, okay, you can also get to settings from here. Over on the right hand side you have a plus sign. You can go ahead and click that plus sign to join or create a class. So to create a class is very easy. Go ahead and click on create class. Give it a class name. Once your class has been created, this is your stream. So when a student comes into your class, this is what they will see. Any announcements that you have posted from here, you can add, you can type your text, you can add something from your Google Drive, a link, a file, even a link to a YouTube video. Once your text is typed here, you can post, you can schedule, you can save it as a draft. So if you want to schedule this for later, you can schedule it to go out later. Okay, so that is for stream. Also from this page, you can go ahead and select a theme. Have all these themes to choose from. You can also upload your own picture. Okay, here right under the class name you have your class code. So if I click on that, this is what you would give students to get into your class. So when students go to Google Classroom, they will click on join a class, submit this code, and they will be entered in your class. The next option is classwork. In classwork you can go ahead and click create. You can create an assignment, quiz assignment, question material, you can reuse posts. We will review these individually later. You can also from here go to Google Calendar and if you click on create and I'm going to select more options. We can give it a title. If we will be doing a face-to-face -face, under Add Conferencing, we can do a Hangouts Meet. Okay, and this is the code that we would send our students or share with our students to join that meet. Make sure to select your date, time. You can also add attachments here. Make sure to click Save. Okay, you can also go to your class drive folder. So this is my class 
folder and this is where students will be able you can drop files and students can also drop files in here as well okay again you can share that class code that I showed you on the front page of your Google classroom right over here or you can also add students so once you add students type in their whole email select that student invite and their name will show up here the easiest fastest way to get students in here is to share that code with them okay then if you have those few students that have not joined then you can go ahead and invite them you do have a grade book this is if you have any assignments then your grade book will show up okay and this is the basics on how to get your Google Classroom started